Hi everybody, my name is Kathy, and welcome to the channel. Um, I am actually posting my very first video for the channel, um, which is just an introduction, who I am, what I'm doing, and what this channel is primarily going to be used for. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom to three children, and this year we are doing distance learning through our district. Um, yay, it sounds like fun, right? If you're like me, you're kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> and you're going, okay, what now? Um, so I have perfectionist tendencies and a bit of experience doing teaching. So I decided to go ahead and put together a full-on classroom, give the kids the full classroom experience, and teach them here at home. So if you're homeschooling and you're looking for resources, this channel's for you. If you're distance learning through your district and looking for supplemental stuff, this channel's for you. And if your kids are just regularly in school and you're looking for fun stuff to do with them, no judgments, this place is for you too. All right, I'm gonna lean back and kind of let you see. Um, up front in the classroom, I've got a couple of whiteboards and some posters. These are just generally shapes, colors, things like that. I've got an easel. I've got a calm down chair right here on the side of my desk. Um, we have a fish tank for a class pet. These are teacher resources that I picked up from our local um, teacher supply store. These are grade level appropriate. And then of course over here, schooling supplies, things like that. This is a behavior chart on this side of the classroom, which you can't really see. Hold on, let me turn it. Oh, there it is. So over here we have weather and we have reading time. And then we have math, which we're doing a whole hundred days counting by ones and tens and hundreds. And then of course we have science with different life cycles and biology related events. As you go out this door, we go into the main area of my basement where I have taken our playroom and I am reorganizing it into centers. We currently have a building center, which is my Lego station. Yay. We have a reading center, which is my futon, covered with some blankets and cozy throws and things like that. Um, we have a dramatic play station, which is the Ikea end table and little bucket that goes underneath it with all the play food and stuff like that in it that they can use to play house as well as there's some superhero capes and some dress up clothes, things like that. Um, for creative play, we have, uh, you know, those, uh, those little tunnels with the tents that the kids like to go through and some other just random kinds of fun, creative things that they can do that get their bodies physically moving. Uh, we have a technology, technology station which is the computer. Yay! <laughs> so in other words, your stations don't have to be anything other than what you already have in your playroom, just reorganized a little bit. If you even choose to do stations at all, um, you don't have to. That's just what I'm doing because it creates more of a in-school feel for the kids and my kids do really well with routine and sticking with what they know. Whew. That being said, here goes our first uh, our first set of videos. Wish me luck.